Self-care is a huge part of feng shui in my way, and today we're gonna to talk about a self-care ritual that I love. Literally, it's a love bath. I've been doing baths like this for, I don't know, 10 years, and I reach for them anytime I need stronger intention, more relaxation, a deeper level of commitment, reinforcing what I want in my life, um, and just feeling good. Like literally just pure self-beautifying self-care. So the other thing about doing baths that have little energetic additions to them is that they can help to literally clear the energy field around you. Now I know that might sound woo woo ethereal to some people, but we literally have a field of energy around us. Our organs have magnetic fields. Our heart has a huge magnetic field. Our mind has a magnetic field, our brain. We are electric. We are run by electricity. It's our life force. And in feng shui, when that electricity is flowing freely and is free of obstructions and negative stuff and anything heavy, we shine and we have the greatest impact and we're the greatest creators and we bring in all kinds of abundance. And this is super powerful. So you have an energy field around you and when you take baths like this and when you do rituals that reinforce your energy, your positive, happy, intentional energy, and you take care of yourself, whether it's showers or baths or walks or meditations or anything that you love to do, all of that self-care is feng shui. All of that self-care magnetizes your life and makes you feel from the inside out and the outside in totally and completely as invaluable and radiant and amazing as you are. So. To start with, when I do a bath like this, I use crystals. Now, I've been using these same crystals forever. It was really exciting for me to see that the crystals that I was using, uh, my friends at Energy Muse wrote a book called Crystal Muse, and they use the same crystals in their love bath ritual, which made me so psyched. So if you haven't checked out that book, I think you'll love it, Crystal Muse. It's amazing. So. I use rose quartz. You can use a tiny little piece of rose quartz. You don't need a whole giant massive <laughs> piece of rose quartz, but I use this piece of rose quartz because I always have it at the ready. And then green aventurine. Green is the color of the heart center. And green aventurine is an amazing crystal for more ah, open-hearted love. Rose quartz is amazing for everything from forgiveness to more self-love and of course all of these love harmonics make us more magnetic. So these two are what I use. Again, you can use tiny little pieces of tumbled crystal. They will work very well. The point is when they get into the water, just similar to if you've seen the video I made on making a rose quartz elixir, um, if you have it, I'll link it so that you can watch it. When you make a rose quartz elixir, you're literally multiplying the power of the stone in the water. You're just filling the water with the power of your intention that's embedded within the crystal. Same thing when you take a bath in crystals. It's not as powerful necessarily as a crystal elixir, but if you've made your rose quartz elixir back in the other video, uh, you can use that also. You could put a splash of that in the bath as well. So to get started, I always clear my crystals first. Now to clear a crystal, I've gone through this before. There are many, many ways to do it. I like to put these outside in the earth so that they can be in contact with the earth and really recharge and let go of any information and energy that they don't need. I also like to put these out in the full moon and the new moon for 24 hours to recharge with the cycles of energy of the moon. I also will periodically use either Palo Santo, this is a tiny piece of Palo Santo that I have right now, or Sage, and I'm lighting it right now in a candle off to the side, sorry guys. So here we go. So I have a little bit, I don't know if you could see the flame, a little bit of Palo Santo, and I hold my stone under the smoke and make sure that it really feels right to me, that the stone is being cleared of any energies that do not belong. And when I'm done, and I feel like the stone is really clear, 
I hold it in my hands and set an intention. I just imagine the intention moving through my hands and into the stone. You can imagine it any way you want to imagine it. Your imagination is moving and shaping energy. So just imagine whatever it is, whatever your intention is, going into the stone. <sighs> okay. All right. Once you have your stone ready, you can do it with the other one. And again, these can be little tiny pieces, as long as they're not going to go down the drain. You wanna make sure you don't have your crystals go down the drain. Um, big enough crystals or just make sure the drain is closed and you take them out of the tub before you drain the tub so you don't lose your crystals down the drain. Very important. I put these in my bath. I run half the bath, and this is a little trick that I do. I run half the bath and I just let them sit as though, and I run it not very warm, like probably medium. And I let them sit like they were tea bags. I just let them sit and soak in the water, but I let them sit for a good hour or two if I have the time. So I'll just, in advance, I'll run the water, I'll run half the tub, I will have these in the bottom, and then when I'm ready, I will throw in either a cup of baking soda or a cup of sea salt. Baking soda makes you glow. Uh, baking soda is an amazing addition to help you to glow. Baking soda can polish and cleanse your energy field. According to Donna Eden, who's an amazing energy healing, energy medicine innovator, baking soda baths are amazing for your glowing aura. So I put in either a cup of baking soda, just straight up regular baking soda, or I add in a cup of sea salt, which is a great one to get rid of any negativity or stagnation that you feel in your space. So whichever one you've got, whichever one feels good, throw it in, leave your crystals in there, put the water on high, warm up your whole bath, fill the other half up. Now it's all going to be full of this crystal energy water and you can set the scene if you'd like. You can burn some sage uh, first. You can light lots of candles and put them around. I don't really, to be honest, do any of that. That doesn't really appeal to me. You wanna do things that really appeal to you. Uh, so if that feels good to you, great. Reading a book might feel really great to you. Um, listening to music might feel really great to you. Fill the room with all the senses that you want to experience. I often listen to music or I will read a book and I will just soak for a while and then before I get out, I'll spend a few minutes in a meditation. And I usually spend about 20 minutes in the bath. I know that seems long, but it goes by very quickly. Um, I will take the stones and hold them in my hands. Uh, some people, like the girls at Energy Muse, suggest putting them over your heart center. Um, I hold them in my hands and do a little meditation, visualization to reinforce my intention, what I'm practicing. I imagine myself feeling and seeing and experiencing whatever it is that I've programmed into the stones. And when I feel really ready and really good, I'll get out, I'll let everything go down the drain. And again, if you have small crystals, take them out before you drain the tub. And there you have it. I love that. Have so much fun with this, guys. Questions, comments, leave them below. And don't forget to sign up for the free love video series. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to hear all that happens. Amazing things happen when you do these videos. They are below. Questions, comments below. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.